and howdy folks this is your old pal Uncle Al. Today is November 19th a lot of people are freaking out and running around and say Uncle Al you're all right. So that's 430 right to 13 wrong <laughs> to everybody. All right a lot of people are asking me a lot of questions on prepping to survival uh, fashion making money. I'm kind of old and tired. I gotta get to do surgery. I had to do blood tests today and check what's going on with my doctors. They have no idea. So I've been busy this morning. Anyway, a lot of people says what's the biggest three things going to happen in the next 68 days. It used to be 70 but hey I'm old and tired. All right. For the next 68 days until January the 6th, we're going to, we're going to, first part is we're going to cover immediate threats is possible civil war. Now you have part A which is the Northern Ireland effect. You have fringe groups left or right. They're going to take pot shots at each other like Kansas City border wars. A lot of my friends who there was alternative history on conspiracy theories and other things. I'm a futurist, so we discussed it and we come out with a bet. We're expecting 1,000 people to die from the Northern Ireland effect. Now, if you're a person of history and reads history and you don't have a college education, do your research and read the books and don't go on the internet to get your information, you'll find out that Uncle Alan was right. Okay? We're expecting 1K dead. That's 1,000 people dead. All right? A lot of people still on YouTube in that fifth, remember I told you that 50 mile circle? Have no idea what's going on. All right? That's 1,000 people dead. So far, I've been tracking. It's now we need about 949 people to die. Unfortunately, it's going to happen because already you've seen the nut cases in colleges and of the cults, you know, like 4B or, or uh, whatchamacallit. I, I'll do a separate video on 4B, it's separate. But every time they tried that, it ends up badly. All right. History. Okay. Number two, a lot of people who are radicalized by the far left, and by the communists, by socialists, you name it, go down to go down the line. They they tend to scream at people. That's a sign of being in a cult or a sign of a mental illness. All right. There's still our brothers and sisters. Red flag them. Film them and put them in a ment uh, mental health services. I wish we had more mental hospitals. We could put them in there. Okay? This leads us to part B. Three-sided democratic civil war. You have Brandon's side who wants World War III. That crazy old man is not peeing in the Rose Garden. He, he's going out there going, World War III! World War III! That's Brandon. And Mr. Trump, or President Trump's going, oh God, please don't make, make things worse. Okay? Now, then you have Bernie Sanders and crude, we support the working class. Well, you're doing a crappy job of it. All right? Bernie has no idea what's going on in the world. Next to Brandon, he thinks, everything rosy. Have you seen the food prices? Have you seen the gas prices? Have you seen your electric bill? Okay. Bernie doesn't know that. Bernie's out there. And so the people like, we support the black Americans. You know, those Negroes. Uh, Bernie, are you nuts? Okay. They don't care. All they care is their image. We support the unions. No, they don't. We support minorities. No, they don't. We support voting rights. No, they don't. Those are the same guys who wore hoods 
and burn crosses at the polling places. <coughs> okay? So that group is still in effect. They say, kumbaya, play guitar, jump around, sing. And you kind of look at them like, 20 bucks got me a loaf of bread, a quart of milk, and that's about it. All right? They lost touch with the working class. Let's see you feed a family of four on that. And then you have Pelosi, Clinton, far left, a wokeism group. All right? Those are the persons who are brainwashed, radicalized, like that one lady because you know who got elected, killed her children, drowned them, set the house on fire, and because she found out her husband voted for, for a Republican. It wasn't Clinton, it was a local election. So she killed herself, killed her kids, burned down the house. Okay, because her husband voted for a Republican? No, that's part of a cult. That's when you find out they need mental health. Okay? So, there's a three-sided Democratic Civil War. You have Brandon as a group, you have Bernie Sanders, and you have Pelosi Clinton's uh, what you call far left group if you watch the view and you listen to what they say it sounds like a cult all they need is hoods and masks wait they're already doing that they're wearing hoodies and masks whoops a little late on that but you got to understand this it doesn't help they're still part of our family they do need mental health services okay red flag them now the bad thing about this it's going to cost, because of what's going on with, you know who, the Joker, Gavin Newsom. He only has two more years, and that's it for him for governor of California. Then they're trying to bring in, guess who? Kamala Harris as governor. You already put that carpetbagger, Adam Schmidt, in. We don't want Kamala Harris as governor of California. There are certain laws in California that does not help everybody that they put in. By 1st of January, California will have $7 gas rates because they put a $2.09 tax. Okay? Tax, fees, regulations on this. It's not cleaning up the air. Okay? You have to explain that slowly to them. Because they're kind of stupid. Well, anyway, that's first strip that threatened California. Three, three, uh, three stri uh, threats. We did number one. That's the Civil War part. You got nuts on both sides shooting at each other, or doing crazy things, screaming at each other. They have a mental illness. Calm them down. Okay, be polite. Film them, note them, red flag them. Okay? Don't have to worry about all this craziness and stuff. Uncle Alan's getting old. I'm tired. I'm making, uh, if you've seen my videos, I do cooking videos, I do cook, or eat breakfast, or I make things. I have problems with my hands, so it's a little hard for me to hold the phone. I'm getting a new phone, hopefully by... Um, before Thanksgiving, but I doubt it. I'll catch you later, folks. No tips. You're on your own. Good luck. God bless. You're going to need a reality shock's coming around in 2025. Bye now.